name is Deja Washington, and my project is dog prosthetic leg development. So my plan is to actually create a of prost. How does this work? You gotta press the arrow. I'm slow. Okay. So the goal is to develop a prosthetic leg for a tripod dog um, with an amputation due to disease or amputation and well neglect. And so the process that I want to take to develop this leg, I want to research dog anatomy to make sure that the leg created goes along with how well an actual leg works. I don't want it to just be a walking peg. You know, I want it to bend and move. And I want to create um, the leg specifically for one dog who is having a hard time getting adopted at a shelter or somebody who's not financially able to produce a leg for their dog. Um, so, to create the leg, I have connections with University of Maryland's 3D printing lab, and they should be able to allow me to develop my prosthetic leg within their lab. So why do I wanna do this? Many dogs are euthanized or put down for not being able to be adopted in an animal shelter, or their life will be harder without the leg than with it. So, um, creating the creating a prosthetic leg for a dog or designing a new one that's financially um, what do you say? it's widely able to be purchased for a people so that more dogs aren't put down than what need to be so my next steps include meeting with my mentor dr. Burke who is a sp um, specialized veterinarian in animal prosthetics so she'll help me develop my leg, design, and go on with the process. I will speak with the representative from University of Maryland's 3D Printing Lab, choose a specific patient for the prosthetic leg, and then take initial measurements, take them to the 3D Printing Lab, and design a prototype so that once I create my prototype, I will be able to make adjustments to make the final, to make the final design. And then once I create my final design, I'm gonna test it with the patient and make refinements so that it'll work specifically for that dog. Once I have a final design, I wanna make it available for more people so that they can specialize it to their own pet and then produce it as many times as they need to. Um, yeah, so that's it. I just wanna make a design and eventually, maybe not this year, but maybe next year or continue to work on it so that I can produce my design and put it online so that it's widely available for other people. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, questions, yeah. yeah. Jared? Is this gonna be like a universal fit or custom to each dog? It's gonna be, okay, so the design is gonna be universal, but the measurements will be specifically for your dog. So you're gonna be able to be able to make it specific to what your dog needs. Do you think it's possible to come up with the design so that there's different mm -hmm. positions that they can put it into mm -hmm. so that uh, they have a puppy and can grow with the Yeah, of course. You can always redesign it or make it fit for your front leg, back leg, because there's, there's always yeah. different things that you can do. Um, yeah, I'm Arslan? Uh, do you have any material in mind like, uh, that you have right now? Like um, not, I don't have a specific material for when I print, but I do know that for specific areas that buckle, I want to use like <coughs> Velcro straps and things that's already been used that actually work so that I can implement them into my own project and make it better, uh, yeah. Kay and then Nick. Did you know like a cost per, um, Okay, so to make, it depends on the size of the okay. dog. And right now, I was, it looks like about 200 mm -hmm. to 600, depending on how big the dog is mm -hmm. or like how much of a leg it actually needs. So it all depends on the specific dog's case, okay. which I won't find out until I pick one. Mm -hmm. Nick. Oh, okay, so Manny? I know you might okay. answer the question on cost, but uh, I'm just curious, like, can you give like a range? Because the thing is, I feel like a lot of, so a lot of dogs that, Probably a lot of times, like, they want to pay money. So, you know, 
Yeah, yeah that's what I. Like when you actually create some cheat meals or uh, like partially the reason you put the bell down. Yeah, that's why, like, the whole purpose so that they're, they don't have to be put down. I want to produce something that's financially, like, able for people to buy so that they don't have to feel like they have to put their dog down or another shelter so that somebody else will feel comfortable buying a dog that, you know, is already, already has a leg that they don't have to buy as opposed to sending it out and nobody wants to buy the, buy the dog, you know, yeah, no, without the leg. That has three legs. They feel disabled. Manny? Uh, have you talked to Forrester about getting involved with like Enable? Cause yeah, me and Forrester have like, yeah. yeah. So I'm getting involved with Enable, but that's not like official yet, so yeah. specialist that works with um, prosthetics herself. So that's why she's my mentor, so she's gonna help me like design and tell me what needs, like what has to be done or what I can make my own and what has to like actually be a part of the process.